A couple months ago, a user by the name of RCXD54, or um, Big Yoshi, oh God, acquired a script of the first episode of World Race and shared it with us. When Highway 35 was first broadcasted, it was split into five episodes. The script we have is actually a near final draft of an unknown date. There are many differences and new information revealed here. The beginning of Ring of Fire is generally the same as the final version. However, Tesla is described as around 40 years old, and Gig is not a floating robot, but rather an AI on a computer screen. Though Gig's personality is about the same, the scene changes to Vert and Alec, and Alec is described as older and more muscular than Vert, and many assume, like us, that they were around the same age. Major Wheeler is from the Air Force, which makes sense given like Taco being shipped out with a squadron. Funnily enough, the writer creates a note wondering if Jack Wheeler should have a suitcase or a military duffel bag. Guess they hadn't finalized that either, huh? Hey guys, it's me. I summoned, also known as Odell here. Uh, a bit, I got a bit of a stuffy nose, but I do have some lines to say. One of the larger differences is the name of the characters. Here, Brian Kadim is named Kareem Anton. Taro Katano is named Taro Kihara. Instead of Crazy Eights, he would have gotten Wild Thing. The scene with Kadim is shown to be at night instead of day, which, assuming Tesla's broadcast takes place at the same time, correlates to the different time zones. Tesla's HQ is described as larger than an air hangar. The initial 10 drivers are a bit different, as Miranda was going to be in the first leg. However, in the final movie, Griffin takes her place as the second Rose Beast member. Nitrox 2 had a different spelling, with an extra X at the end. Most of the cars seem to not have been completely finalized at this time of this draft. As mentioned before, Kadima had Wild Thing, Vert still had Dura 2, Kurt has Slingshot, but that's about it for the name cars. The Desert Rats error in the final movie seems to have come from the script itself. It's possible that the writers didn't change it when the team names were finalized. When Taro and Vert are racing on the salt flats, Vert accidentally pulls out his shoe compared to the movie where he activates his grappling hook. The Highway 35 sign was also meant to fall off, but this was put in ignition instead. In the movie, when the race is about to begin, the starting lights have Highway 35 sign attached to the bottom. Considering that the sign was originally meant to fall off the pole, that implies someone attached that same sign to the starting lights, something that isn't made clear in the movie. I'm back, just in time to close off this video. The race is about the same as the final version, with minor dialogue changes, and some of the final dialogue is missing. The environment is described as a deep, as a deep canyon with a volcano in the distance. The scene with Banji and Kadim in the volcanic crater has different wording. In the final version, Banji talks about motocrossing in the mountains of El Yunque. In the draft, Banji instead refers to the Andes. This was most likely changed since Banji is from Puerto Rico, and, uh, the Andes aren't in Puerto Rico. During the lava scene, the Scorcher's volcanic wheels are described as being made, made up of titanium, which makes sense given titanium's high heat resistance. The steel plow is supposed to bear resemblance to a snowplow. Lenny's thought process when crossing the lava was originally based on logic. Taro cleared the paths, so Lenny thought she, she could simply follow through. But the lava flow closes off the cleared path as she drives. In the movie, Lani instead, uh, you know how it ends. He can do it, I can. The end of the script features more dialogue between Tesla and the drivers, Vert is more hesitant with working on a team, and the end he accepts it, and the episode ends. This draft is very close to the final version. Name and cars weren't finalized, and plenty of minor dialogue changes. The changes and the context given are very interesting. We're lucky to even have a draft of the script. Next time we'll be talking about Accelerator's Ignition. Thanks for watching. This has been Ice Lemon.